Shanghai is boosting financial assistance for local business startups to help them in their vulnerable early stages. Its developing preferential loan initiative not only elevates Shanghai's reputation as a business paradise, Xu Xing finds some long-lasting economic benefits. Like many ambitious young men in the city who dream of starting their own business, 32-year-old Chen Tian needed funds. When he graduated five years ago, he had plans to set up a telecommunication service company. But his business plan needed 200,000 yuan seed money. Financing was the major difficulty at that time. It was nearly impossible for startups to get loans from bank. Banks were reluctant to provide loans under 2 million yuan, let alone 200,000 yuan, and there were few other ways to raise the money. As far as banks are concerned, providing loans for small and medium enterprises means greater risks and higher cost. As the evaluation procedures and cost for providing a smaller loan is the same as for a big loan. Cheng's problem was solved by a government project providing loan guarantees for startups. In 2000, the city set up a fund to act as guarantor for SME loans. The guarantee would last a year, and interest was waived if staff levels were maintained and the loan repaid on time. More than 50% of local new business startups need to borrow money from banks. Actually, the financing difficulty for SMEs comes down to the difficulty of getting a guarantee. Now, the government shares the risks with the bank. Of course, there are risks and bad loans, but it's worthwhile. It serves as a major absorber of the labor force while encouraging entrepreneurship at the same time. In the past five years, a total of 270 million yuan loan was provided to these startups under the guarantee of local government, and these companies, in return, created some 400,000 jobs. Actually, SMEs contribute 56 percent of our country's GDP growth and 70 percent of the country's employment. So, with a government guarantee for startups and less worry about loan risks, why don't we develop more loan products for SMEs? We started the loan business for SMEs in 2003 with an annual volume of 800 million yuan, but this year the number is expected to jump to 6 billion yuan. Chen Tian used the life-saving 200,000 yuan to build his business. The company is developing well, although five years into his operation, he finds he's again in need of capital to grow further. Just as its name implies, startup loan only benefits the group that has just started their business. But enterprises in the developing period, say in the third year or later, are also in urgent need of capital for further development. However, now we are not qualified under that policy. Business development finance is now on city's plan. From October, startup guarantees have been extended to three years. The city's follow-up support is expected to help its infant corporations develop into mature economic contributors. Xu Xin for Biz Watch.